Can you speak? I hope you can. Okay, well, apparently, I didn't have my recording put on. I just started recording. Then speak. Well, look at the super cool one. Shop. E baby green bat, of course. So basically, we have a. Uh, we got a rare item called Gold Candy, a legendary item. It gives us a really cool effect as well as movement speed, dash damage, and evasion. We get an extra dash bot too. We are up to 34.3% chance to evade. That's a 1 in 3rd percent chance to evade before the run even starts. Now, we're lacking a little bit on max HP, but we've got infinite evasion and um, pretty good damage. And. Uh, lots of swiftness so we're very fast as you can see like really fast we have a spatula which is nice and we've got a green bat so that's good now this is just the reintroduction hello everybody welcome back to another episode of downgrade sorry about that first minute and a bit on no sound just give that a chance and if you can get through that you will be here and we'll be jamming together once again so i'm very happy with everything i've got right now because a spatula is pretty strong green bat is one of my favorite things in the entire game and uh this gold candy seems op as f right now um having a one in three percent chance to dodge anything in this game almost makes you think like this is a guaranteed win right now i think we're in the we headed for guaranteed win now as long as i have everything running here well i think you got to go more evasion right you just you got to go straight up evasion five dashes are tainting don't get me wrong but i think i'm gonna pass up that for now and I'm gonna play just a little bit more normal. Play normal. No reason to change up a winning combination. Our first hit we took, and we actually took the hit too. It annoys me a little bit. So much for one in three chance to evade. But we could get our evasion up to like 60% on this run alone. Um, if we get the right accessories as well as the right foods from Horika. So this just, I feel so fast. And I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing because I am super fast in case you guys haven't noticed. So. I'm actually so impressed that you actually landed that hit on me that I'm only 50% mad instead of 100% mad, but I'm actually 100% mad. Okay, because uh, I just realized we don't have a lot of defense, and if we don't evade, which we haven't got any evade so far, I want to point out with our uh, basically 40% evasion. Samurai Soul does nothing for me. We got our first evade there on the spikes, which is good. It's probably the thing we needed the most on because. Spikes happen to be the thing. I take the most damage too. Um, but yeah, I'm actually in love with this run right now. It just looks so sexy. Sandbag gives us more dash damage. So when we hit things with dash, we should like kill people. I'm going to check this. Okay, I, I'm not dashing. Or I'm not hitting things with dash. So <laughs> I think it's kind of like a... Uh, it's kind of like a trolley 
type re uh, readily accessory sorry it's like hey i say ready because i'm playing way too much space but um there it's like a uh, tricky a tricky 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 little situation a bomb shooter you know i've got to try a bomb shooter it's a freaking bomb shooter i think i don't like the bomb shooter i think i've already had the bomb shooter and i don't like it but we so fast we are so fast that i kind of just i personally don't know how to handle it so getting a horika there, oh yeah, it's like that, like that, and then boom, and boom, yeah, yeah, and then uh, boom, and then uh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I don't like it. I, I, I was pretty sure I didn't like it, but I wasn't entirely sure, so I wanted to kind of make sure I was sure that I didn't like it. I'm very upset I got hit by that dude on the back there, but uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. How? What is my evasion right now? My evasion is thirty-seven percent. I'm surprised I ever I ever took a single hit. You know, honestly, the fact that I ever took a singular hit is shocking for me. Do you have anything that gives me evasion? Chunk of ice gives me a freezing effect. Samurai sold does absolutely nothing for us, so we can sell that. Let's get the chunk of ice. It's better to have it than to not to have it. You know what I mean? Like right now, we get nothing out of Samurai Soul because we're not using Katana. And uh, at least if we take Chunk of Ice, we all get some benefit. Even if it's just the smallest minuscule benefit, it's a benefit nonetheless. Uh, we're immediately going to give it up for a monocle though, so I guess it didn't really matter too much. Just taking it slowly here. There we go. Don't want to take any unnecessary damage, so I'm playing it very slow, very relaxed. What you got for me? Jringa. Uh That's technically a one-handed weapon, so it should get a bonus out of. Uh, oh, it definitely does. It definitely does. Oh, Hoika, give me more evasion, please. Nine point two evasion, eight point two evasion crit. I'm gonna go for slightly less evasion, a little bit of crit damage here, even though I should probably not. Forty-four percent evasion. That means we basically right now are dodging one out of every two hits we take. Now, if I dodge one out of every two hits I take, I'm pretty much gonna win this run. Because the way I die in Dungreed is I take a trillion hits of damage. So it's going to be another evasion. If we win, if we win, let's just make sure I don't get a little bit ahead of myself here. We still have to actually win the one. But if we win the run, it will be another evasion victory. Which is a little bit frustrating because I don't want to win the same way every time. But what must I do if they give me this super cool candy? I love it. Look how cool I look. A Zui Hunter. I kind of like the Zui Hunter a lot. What is the attack speed like? It's so slow though. The bomb is really bad though, so I'm gonna put this behind in just for lols. It's so slow. Except we attack pretty fast actually. Okay, but that's that's not gonna work for me. That's not gonna work for me. It's good, but it's definitely not the my type of playstyle. I prefer the uh there we go. Oh now I can. Yeah. Zuihanda. Anyway, I don't like I don't like this weird. I'm not gonna be using it a lot. Oops. Oh, so that's what happens. I've always wondered I've mentioned that quite a few times that I, I push the switch weapon button and it doesn't always switch the weapon. I get a little bit frustrated and annoyed and I blame the game, but uh, it's my own self I should be blaming. But uh, I see what happens is that sometimes the button that you use to switch weapons, which is the roll button on the mouse pad, what is happening uh, clearly is that um, I'm hitting the roll button twice and it's like I'm hitting it too hard maybe, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, I'm trying to make it happen but it's not happening. Uh, excuse me, what's this? Strawberry juice fountain. Delicious looking strawberry juice flows out of the fun, eat it. You have cover but your say say levels increase. Okay, cool, so that's like a heal. It's kind of like exactly what I said the game should add. It's almost as if uh, Team Hooray is watching my my videos and uh, taking advice from me, which is I know not the case at all. But you know, I like to I like to pretend. I like to pretend. You know, that would be the biggest compliment I think lots of uh, gamers could get is if a game producer listened to them and took their advice. Sometimes uh, when I watch certain streamers play, the complaints they make and get like addressed directly, and I'm always like, damn, son. Your influence is so much that your suggestions are actually getting implemented into the game. And that's kind of like, that's the dream right there. I'm so fast, I can just dodge everything. It's so nice. Is this candy the best accessory in the game? I always thought wings were the best accessory in the game, but now I'm in the, I'm in the candy boat. That sounded weird. But you guys know what I was trying to say, so it's fine. 
Look at these heals. I, was, I mentioned in the previous episode that whenever you do really well, they give you way too many heals. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This might do more damage than the spatula. Let's see how Bilal fares to this. We took a hit already. So we've been hit twice and we took one hit of damage. We've been hit four times and we took one hit of damage. So we blocked, we evaded three hits with 44% evasion. So we literally just want to like focus everything to evasion. I'm very upset about the uh, strawberry fountain that I got. Although it was cool to figure out and find out what it was all about. It was bad in the sense that I got something that I didn't want. And that was satiety levels. You know why? Because this is why. Because Horika, my darling has 9.8 evasion for me that I'm probably not going to be able to get now. So, that is a problem. Ring of Midas, Ruby Necklace. Ruby Necklace is actually tempting. But I kind of like everything I have right now. So I'm just going to say thank you, but no thank you. We just need to go down, 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 down. And then kill this guy before he gets a little ice thing off. Stand in a safe area. Now you equip. Oh, we can't equip. I mean, that that's balanced. That's balanced. That's fine. I'm, I keep forgetting that you can shoot through these little things for some reason, dude. I guess it's to balance you out so you're not completely trash, but at the same time, why? Why is the game not letting me win? Is this person letting me win, man? Isn't that the whole point? I don't know what to do against you. I honestly don't know, dude. You have like the world's greatest attack in the history of the world. I feel like all I can do is just die. Ice area, dude. It's the strongest area by so much. It's it's such it's so much stronger than any other area in the game, actually. But it's actually just ridiculous. So we what we're looking for right now is more evasion. I think baton is better here. How am I supposed to dodge all these? I mean, I did. I evaded most of it, but. Holy crap, that room can go fuck itself. I think it still counts, even though we have the, uh, the buckler on. I'm gonna use the, uh, I'm gonna use the, the thing I'm using right now instead of the, uh, spatula. I know the spatula is really good, don't get me wrong, I understand, it's extremely, extremely good. But I think this is gonna be a situation where it's just gonna be better for us to use the spatula for now. So we oh crap. So we of course want to get to Horika as soon as possible. Without taking damage, so I mean obviously we don't want to take damage, we never want to take damage, but you guys get what I'm trying to say, right? Look, at some time times in life certain weapons are just right, and that was one of those situations. Riot shield, I can equip it onto the spatula section, it is. So now we've got a riot shield on the spatula, we got a buckler on this thing. Which is just, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm actually, my little downgrade da character is moving so fast, it's confusing my little brain. It's confusing my little brain. Da -da 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 I'm not gonna let you hit me. You're not hitting me today, Ice Boy. It's not happening, not today. Not today, Mr. Ice Boy, not today. At some point in your life, you were going to hit me, but it was not going to be today. Doggy, no! Doggy almost hit me though. So we really need a better weapon. Like, a way better weapon. Assassin Dagger could be super good with the Jermanga. Holy crap! Nope. I knew I was going to take hit somewhere, but I just didn't know where it was. It was kind of like a gamble. I knew I was going to get hit. I just wasn't sure where exactly I was going to hit. That room is super hard, by the way. It's really hard not to take damage in that room. You don't take damage in that room, but you are very good at this game. That's what I'm saying. But I'm, I'm kind of not too worried about uh, beating Niflheim. Niflheim is going to be easy. The problem I'm going to have is the future. Is the future. Getting to Niflheim, A. And B, um, going, finishing the game. Because although we can have like the super high evasion. If the evasion never procs, which is kind of what's happening for us right now. We're still going to lose the run, you know what I'm saying? So, give me 20,000 evasion, if it never procs, we die. How much evasion? Only 44.5. We can't even buy Horika's evasion. We could! We could exactly buy Horika's evasion! Excuse me, game. Okay. 
that F was fucking irritating. We have a 51% chance to dodge now. That means we literally are supposed to dodge. Or well, not. Obviously, it's like random because anything that's percentage based has a chance to proc and a chance not to proc. But And with my luck, it's never going to proc. But technically speaking, we should have like a fucking one of every two hits that hit us have to miss. Technically speaking. It's not necessarily speaking what's going to happen because, as I said, this isn't exact science probability obviously if you guys have any idea anything about probability you know that probability is a bitch the so probability is a cruel mistress that uh fucks you fucks you big time especially me i hate anything that's rng that's why i uh in dota i call for the removal of all percentage based abilities Lots of people are against that. They're like, no, you can't take out the percentage space abilities that destroy the some of the fun of the game. I understand that there's like some logic behind that. Virus bash is hilarious when it procs like three times in a row, or getting double crits off PA is funny, blah blah blah. But it removes from the skill cap, in my opinion. Like, if you can plan your spell usage out better than your opponent, you win, right? Instead of just having a lucky RNG scenario which is what what Dota comes down to sometimes sometimes you just get lucky RNG than your opponents and you win the game that actually does happen and if we remove percentage base abilities completely from the game that means they'll never happen of course I've got lucky and I've got like a first hit bash that's led into a kill that's led into a victory I mean it's happened to all of us at least once I, I, I would hope so but I would prefer to rather have to plan calculate my moves than have some like victory just handed to me because I got happened to get semi lucky on the RNG procs. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's just me. I think it's just me because everyone I tell that to disagrees with me. But I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. Hoi, could you have more evasion for me, please? 5.2 evasion and crit. Kind of off to max health now a little bit because we've only got 92 max health. We had 100. We went down on max health for some reason. I don't know what. I'm assuming some of the items we must have equipped took our max health away or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I really want you to die, dude. You are very frustrating. Okay, one down. We're not going to take damage from these spikes. There's no way. It's just not going to happen. We move at the speed of sound. Like, even the spikes don't even know what the hell happened. The spikes were like, excuse me? Was there someone here that we were supposed to spike? And it's like, yes, game. There was, but it's too late now. You missed your chance. Kind of tempted to get the... The max HP out of Ruby Necklace. I don't know yet. I'll decide as we go. So this is awkward. Because now, I need to go down. But these doggos are in my way. Okay, down, 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 down. Ice, 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 baby. Something like that, I don't know. Kill this little bull. The second floor, I honestly think might be one of the hardest floors in the entirety of Dungreed, honestly. Like, it's just so hard. Niflheim isn't difficult. The boss isn't hard. But everything I told the boss is difficult. Okay? It just is. It just it is. No one can argue with me about this fact. Fact, Facts are facts for a reason. So, this room sucks. Except it kind of doesn't suck when you have the uh, movement perk. And the extra dashes. I guess. I mean, I think I handled that very weakly. I actually got hit by a spike there, so we're very lucky that we got the evasion proc there. Okay, there's a nice little free heal for us, so I'm okay with this. I'm like 80% sure we beat Niflheim, no problem. I just don't know how we do in the next area, because the problem we're sitting with right now is we have a uh, very low max HP, and we have zero defense. So when we get hit, if we do not ev evade, we kinda just die. I'm actually thinking Baton was going to be the better route here, I think. I'm not sure though. I'll see how it goes. Uh, I think we only got like two evades there in total. 
Yeah, we got like four evades in a row. So that's the type of shit I'm talking about. That's that mathematical crap I'm talking about that's supposed to give me an advantage. I'm a big one at that, but uh, only happens occasionally. There we got another evade. So we definitely built correctly with this evade strat, like it's definitely working. I think what's the, the biggest problem we have right now is my weapon is incorrect. So we took quite a bit of hits, so we took quite a bit of hits. We lost like half our HP gauge in this fight. We got a million evades basically. Uh, hatchets... It's not bad, but it's not the right... It's not the right thing for us. I think we take spatula into the dark jungle. The dark jungle is still... Uh, it's easier than the light jungle for instance, but it's still intimidating in its own way. Major planet. Gold drop. Still one gold drop. Uh, right... Sh Iron hook, no. Wing boots. No. Dragon hammer, definitely no. Magnet. Electroshock resist. I don't even know there was electroshock in the game. Hoika, do you have more evasion for me? You have 3.1 evasion. 13.88 max HP, that's what I'm probably going to be going for. There you go. I took Hoika, one of those spear bros. Just, if you if you take it slowly, this, this jungle, you do, you do better. I've noticed. My my thing, I think I take the jungle too aggressively. We did get hit immediately by Spike, uh, bro. By Javelin, bro. But Javelin, bro, is our nemesis. He's our truest nemesis. He's the one true nemesis that I do not know how to handle. These guys, not so much a problem. Especially if we had the baton, they'll get wrecked even better, but it's okay. I use the special for now. The special is good. Chef's special, I like it a lot. Right here, also, I'm assuming, doing something for us, so I'm not gonna throw that away either. Um, but mainly, I would really much like a strong weapon. I'm, I'm talking about like, like the next level OP weapon type situation. You know what I mean? I'm talking about that weapon and when you get it, you kind of think to yourself, how is this weapon balanced? You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of things I'm looking for right now, if I had to be honest with you. I think that's kind of what we need. We need that like really strong kind of one shots the entire area type situation. Something along those lines is what we definitely need. It's gonna take a while. Can I, can I, can I baton you? Oh, I can baton you. I think... Uh, see, then you get a room like this and you think to yourself, is the baton not the right strat? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna keep spatuling it up. I'm gonna just... Real, uh... Ah, we actually got hit there. Holy crap, that was scary. The fool that I am allowed myself to get hit. I gotta take out these ghosts first. And then bad boy. Okay, so taking it super slow and steady. Power charm. Tempting as it is, I think we just can't. Because our max HP is already too low. We don't hit really hard either though. So I'm a bit worried about like our... Uh, Mathematical chance of just succeeding to the next areas because the problem is even if we we still have to kill this stuff Even if we're evading we still have to kill. I think it's stupid that you can hit me and I can't really hit you, but it's okay I can do this and you can't do this so lol Who's the who's the fool now? Who gets the last lap now? I get the last lap. I think this is gonna be pretend boy We got a block out of that so right there the round shield has paid for itself completely. Armor would be great, but it's not evasion, and we've kind of decided that we're going for evasion right off the bat. We have we started though on a 20 evasion. You like we haven't gone up that much though. I do want to point that out. Oh no. We got like four block box in this fight, and somehow we didn't take damage due to that, so. You know what? I'm gonna say block Trump's evasion apparently. And usually I would not believe in my own words there, but look, what can you do? The, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. And for us, it was in the fact that we didn't get one evasion and that whole thing. We're getting hit like 10 times, and we got like 10 block procs. So. It's kind of like. We got, it's, we got a good situation. You know, if we got block and. I actually do like this. Shotgun a lot, but I don't think this is the one for it, but I really like the shotgun. Trust me I had a double shotgun run once it was the best run of my life It obviously was not the best run of life. I've had way better ones, but it was the finest run. I can tell you that much 
Are we done with this floor? We are. Horeca. 3.1 evasion. It just doesn't feel worth it to me. In this case, I'd rather go the max HP here. But, uh... I think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say no. I'm gonna, not going to go to Horeca. I'm not going to buy anything. I'll get, I'll get it in the next one. We'll get it the next one. You know what I'm saying, guys? We're going to make an executive decision. So we get Horeca on the next one. Now, things we have to worry about. The Tunak fight. It's definitely something we need to worry about. A, how do we kill Tunak? Kind of a problem. You know what I'm saying? Can't really kill Tunak because we're going to have to damage race him. I don't really want to damage race Tunak. I guess we've got the evasion that might count in our favor, but it's not like the strongest thing ever. Spiders? I hate spiders. I hate spiders. That's a siren. Not a siren lady. We're getting like I don't know if we're getting we're getting better at dodging sirens. Or we're getting lucky or what, but we've been doing okay against the sirens lately. I'm not gonna lie to you. Chunoga cannon again. I keep getting it, I never use it. Does the game not realize? We've got a lot of heals on this floor, which is nice. Because it's gonna make a potential. It's gonna make potentially the future of the one very good if we fuck up somewhere big time we can just uh, rely on the fact that we have a bunch of heals on this floor to go and look at it's just like oh no we took a trillion damage because we were bad at the game wow just was in the middle of a reload he just came down and he just one shot at me that's unfortunate we also didn't get an evasion like 55 percent evasion roughly we didn't get one that's some bullshit. I'll let the bat take care of him then. Lol. I actually, I will pick up the heal. And then I will unlock this rest of the fight. We got a proc on our uh, evade there. So I'm very happy. You cannot be mad if you get a proc on the evade. Ever. It's the rule. One proc on the evade. And you may not even be mad at the evasion ever again. That's the rule. Unless you were really close to winning the run and you don't win the run due to it, then you're allowed to be legally allowed to be mad at this. I saw you, dude. I saw what you're trying to do. It's not going to work on me. I will baton you to death. Baton you to death. More enemies, more enemies. Oh my goodness, more enemies. I didn't even know about them. Luckily, I dodged the attack. Dodged the second attack. Dodged the third attack. Good. I actually did dodges myself instead of relying on one ability to carry me all the way through a game. Which is not a good strategy, by the way, guys. I would not recommend it if you are playing the game. Do not build your entire strat around getting one freaking thing to proc. It's not smart, okay? It's really dumb, actually. It's really, really dumb, actually. I need you to die. I need you to die, dude. Get to behind him. We did get hit. It's very frustrating. What can you do? What can you do? You get hit, you move on. This room sucks too, by the way. So, I thought it was Spike. I thought it was uh, Javelin Boys for some reason. It, was, it is Javelin Boys. It's not Javelin Boys. It's, it is Javelin Boys. I freaking knew it was Javelin Boys. I looked into my heart and I said to myself, you know what this is? This is going to be Javelin Boys. And believe me or believe me not, it was Javelin Boys. My heart told me. My heart knew. My heart. I might not have known. My heart knew. My heart always knew where Jam Boys were gonna shop. Cause me and Jam Boys we have a we have a problem. We have a problem with each other, you know. I do not like them, they do not like me. Whenever we see each other we try and stick with I think the crit is not doing that much for me anymore and the defense from this cow arm is gonna do so much more. I kind of wish I'd approached this slightly differently. And if I take eight trillion damage here I will not be I will not be mad. I will be fine with that. Okay, there is a range on this bachelor, which sucks. There we go. Oh yeah. I did a lot of doo doo doos. As you all know, doo doo doos make you better at any game. Wow, dude, let's just jump straight into the spikes. That's a genius idea. Great gaming skills prevailing right there in front of everybody. It's like it's like you wanna win? Sure. How about you throw away your win by jumping into spikes? That's a genius idea. 
I like it very much. What you got for me, dude? Where are your accessories? You never have accessories anymore. Every time I ask you for the accessories, you like look at me like I'm crazy. Okay, we saved all this for Horika. For a good reason. Look at this. Look at this 8.9 evasion. I think that's the right choice, but in all honesty, 56% evasion, right? In all honesty, I think the max HP was kind of what we wanted. But we made our bed and now we will lay in it or however the fuck that saying goes. I never really understood that saying. I, if you make your bed when you wake up, you don't make your bed when you go fucking sleep. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Mentally speaking, physically speaking, it's just like my heart my heart does not comply with what you're telling me right now. You're telling me that... Active set bonus. Riot release! Five toughness, ten power? Excuse me? I've never seen that before. We are the riot police. Get ready, motherfucking Tunak. The police are here. The police. Police brutality 101, guys. Normal. Very normal stuff right here. Very normal stuff right here. Tunak. Fuck your shit. Fuck your shit. I'm a, I'm the riot police, bitch. I am the police. Police time. We don't do a lot of damage, which is kind of a big problem. But we're gonna win this fight regardless, because we just evade everything. Yep. Oh my goodness, I didn't know about the riot police. That is so cool. That is so cool. I wonder if there's other combinations I don't know about. Riot police. We are the police up in here. What you got? Bloodstone ring? Meh. Bloodstone doesn't. So we are going to hell right now. We have 27,000 gold. If we ever get a shop that has decent anything, so we are going to be the happiest fucking people you've ever seen your whole freaking life. This room sucks, by the way. What am I even supposed to do against this room? Oh, doggy! No, doggy! You cannot just spawn like that, you motherfucker. Okay. Don't show it to me when I switch to the ribbon, because that is, I don't think is a good idea. I think we should upgrade Spatch instead of uh, Baton, even though I kind of use Baton a lot. It was a 50-50 type of situation that I had to make a choice on. I made the choice to go for Spatch. What can I say, guys? You can't judge me. You, only I can judge me. No one else. No one else. I'm not Only I'm allowed to judge myself, okay? If you think for one second I'm allowing you to judge me, you can think again, bitch. Mm. Oh my god, there's like a shit ton of people here. I've never actually noticed this before. This might have been a better time to be the police. Oh, it was the world's greatest shot I've ever seen in my whole life, Mr. Dude. Police? What you gonna do? The police are here. Once the police are here, it's over. Nothing you can do. Oh, we got a second spatula. I wish if you got the same item and you had multiples of it, they would be like, okay, you can combine the two into the Iron Chef spatula. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't that sound sexy? I think it sounds sexy. Oh my god. What do I even do? I keep evade. I keep reloading as the dude gets close to me. Okay, I'm very worried about this run now. Ten seconds ago, wasn't right. Right now, very worried. You know why? We need a better weapon. We keep getting all the right accessories and all the right everything, and then we keep never having the right weapons. Our biggest weakness at the moment is just getting a weapon that is good. We need a good weapon. That's all we need. Once we get a good weapon, we'll be in a good place. Okay, I'm just gonna keep you here on a leash. And I'll watch out for your little lightning balls. There's that guy. There's a succubi lady. A succubus. Bitch, I don't have time for your shit. I'm not interested in your spot. Not interested in what she's selling as they say. Come on, one of them just hit. One of them just had to hit. One of you can do it. So close. Oh. Spatula! Police! Police! Okay. We got the police to come out and play. And when we did, people died. Which is pretty normal. In my opinion. Get wrecked. Apparently, if you live in America, it's even worse. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not fortunate enough to live there. 
I wouldn't mind that. That would be great. Oh! Crocker, I'm the police. You better sell me something amazing. There should be police accessories too. What you got for me? So, if there's, a, if there's like a iron pan, I'm assuming, that would be really good. Uh, we have super movement speed, so 15 armor is not bad, but we get 15 armor from the cowhide already, so we actually just don't want anything that you sell. Which is what we always want from you, because you never sell useful stuff, Coco, and you're making me question the reason you're in this game. Honestly, like, I don't know why you're in this game. I look at it, I think about it, I realize that you serve zero purpose. And to actually improve the game, get all they have to do is just remove you from the game. Move Coco from the game, and add someone that actually does something. And this game will get 10 times easier slash better in like 5 seconds. Not that easier is necessarily better, but you get the picture. Okay, that went not too bad. I was stuck in a very shitty corner, and somehow, because I'm the POLICE, I made it work. Well, I technically wasn't the police when I made it work. Then I became the police and I instantly took a hit. Which makes me question if being the police is a good or bad idea. I'm very worried about our max HP. Like, that's our biggest concern right now. Oh my god. Like, you cannot spawn me right next to a succubus lady that wants to French my brains out, guys. I'm but a man. A humble man. And if you give me a succubus lady that wants to French my brains out, the first thing I'm going to do is get let the succubus lady French my brains out. I'm a kind-hearted good sir that likes to please people. I'm, I'm a people pleaser. What am I supposed to do? She comes to me. She wants to French my brains out. I'm going to say yes. Because it's the, it's the right thing to do. That's what I'm going to say. We actually did get hit there. Man. Give me a better... Give me the best weapon in the game. I just want to point out that that is not the best weapon in the game. Hoika. She's the best weapon in the game. Is Hoika secretly, if you think about it, the best weapon in the game? Think about it logically for a second. Hoika sells you boosted stats. Boosted stats is how you kill things. Oh, this is a very awkward situation to be in. Very awkward. Very awkward. Very awkward. So awkward. Oh my goodness, this little Arch of Destiny is the most accurate motherfucker you've ever seen in your whole life. Also, where's my evasion, by the way? I've got like... We've just had this conversation. I've got 10,000 evasion, and I'm yet to see this evasion proc. I mean, we've seen the evasion proc. I'm not going to sit here and pretend we haven't. But come on, it procs at such a slow rate. Let's be honest with each other. Like, you, even you guys have to admit that the rate that these... For this 56 to 57 percent. What is our evasion right now? 60 percent? It's 58 percent evasion. Do you, does it look like I'm evading 58 percent of the hits? No, I don't think so. I'm blocking most with my fucking shield and then I'm tanking the rest. So, if anything. So, the police are full of power and toughness. Interesting. So, you can actually just skip this whole floor. I see a little bomb, you motherfucker. Think I don't see it? You think I don't see it? I see it. I see it, dude. I see what you're trying to do. Boom! Boom, 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 boom. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Just get the fuck out. Send, send, send veggies in his general direction and pray. Send veggies in his general direction and pray. It's like a country in Africa. Send food and pray, baby. I don't know if that's racist. I mean, I live in Africa, so I don't think it can be racist. I'm pretty sure that's how that works, right? What we got here? Marine Gush. Seven powers. Can you sell some fucking accessories? I'm gonna buy everything you have just so you can not have other shit. And so next time I see you can sell fucking accessories. Holy shit, dude. You never sell accessories. What is your deal? Are you do not like accessories? Are you an anti accessory boy? Did you say you have something personally against accessories? Or what's happening? I took three hits on this room and two of them got hit and one evaded. We are gonna die. We are gonna die. We're on 3 HP, we are gonna actually die. Oh, we're gonna touch heal. We're on 13 HP, we're still gonna die. But we're gonna die on 13 HP. Croc has not sold one singular accessory in this whole fucking run. And that's kind of why we're losing. We're literally losing because Croc doesn't sell accessories to make me stronger. Get the evasions, get the evasions, get all those evasion procs, get those evasion procs, get that investment we made early. Let's get the investment we made six fucking years ago to finally pay off because this is some bull fucking shit. Oh, I jumped right into it. He is the Alpine sniper fucking crossbow boy. He knew exactly where I was going to jump and he got me. We're on 8 HP. No, the room of death. The room of death. This is a, I call it the room of death because this is the room that always gets me every freaking time. Every time in this room I get gone on, I get wrecked. Ah, uh, I don't know. You know what the problem is? I don't know how to fucking do it. I don't know how to get through this room without taking damage. 
Siren bitch. I see you, Siren bitch. I'm not letting you kill me. I'm not letting you guys fucking kill me. I'm in the fucking room of death. Oh, we're not gonna beat Envrock again, game? Are you serious? Where's Horika? Horika, I need you, like, really badly, but I need to do a bit more satiety first. If you just sold one item, Croco, that could have helped me in any way in this whole freaking run. We had a chance. But instead, what did you sell me? You sold trash tier everything. Everything you sold was trash. Trash everything. You were just trash. You serve zero purpose. I hate you, Croco. I hate you. You serve absolutely zero purpose. How the fuck do I even get down here? whoop -a! da 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 Nope. Okay, somehow we have not died yet. What do we need? We need a chicken bone. Give me a chicken bone so I can heal up on a chicken bone. That's all I need right now is a chicken bone. Slash Horika. Slash a full heal. I'll take the strawberry thing now. I'm assuming if the full heals me, I'll take it right now. This is this is bad. 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 This is very bad. This is very very bad. Very 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 bad. Just keep shooting and praying. Shooting and praying, boys. Oh my goodness. Are we gonna fight Emrock on eight HP? Wait, Horika, woman. Why are you always hiding from me? It's like real life all over again. My heart can't handle this shit. Horika. Not Horika, but we can sacrifice everything. Sacrifice this, 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 this. Come on. This, 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 this. Give me a chicken streak. What the fuck? A Meggy, Meggy Jog. Full toughness. That could be good. But it's not what I want. No. Okay, we got a Mega Jog out of it. But I'm not going to use the Mega Jog because... It's not good. Horika! That's not Horika! This is not Horika game! I just wanna point out this is not Horika! Right now, right now, look at me, look at me, and let me look in my eyes and realize that I'm telling you this is not Horika, okay? This is not Horika. This is a fucking death room of Satan spawn. And we somehow are still alive. Okay. I don't think we can beat Envy Rock on 8 HP. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. I'm gonna be 100% straight. We are not beating Envy Rock on 8 HP. It's not happening. Horika? You gotta go the evasion and pray, right? Go the evasion and pray. That's pretty much our strat right now. We're gonna go fight Amy Rock right now. We're gonna become the police. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna evasion and pray, baby. Evasion and pray. We have how much evasion? Literally 60% evasion. Okay. 60% chance to not get hit by Amy Rock. Let's go. Don't you use stupid fucking wall shit of freaking Satan? Oh! 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 We got an evasion on that proc. We didn't dodge it. We got an evasion on it. We got hit. We evaded. We evaded. We died. Fuck! Oh my god! This... Like... Item man is pointless. What is this? Select one item to save in the dimension vault. What the fuck is a dimension vault? Save the. Save the fucking gold candy, obviously. How do I click on it? Select one item to save in the dimension vault. Gold candy. There we go. What happened? What happened? What happened? Exit. Oh, <gasps> what is the dimension vault? Hello, what is the dimension vault? Open item list. What is what is this? I was in the second side. I've never seen that. Wings. Those are the best. Accessory in the game. That's what I was looking for a drumstick. We were just praying for a drumstick. It was a rare item. It was not it was a pretty hard chance to happen, but that's what I needed. I haven't seen a pickaxe in so long. 
Du, 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 du. Said riot police. Bat family, I was missing a bat. What? I've never. I've had three. There's four. I was missing one bat. Oh, adventure planet. Ice. Oh, these are just orbitals. Four orbitals. Oh, that looks so cool. I've never seen these before. Power of space. Um, the Cosmos Sword and the Heart of Cosmos. Cosmic power with the powers of the Cosmos increases power, defense, evasion, and critical. Oh my god. God of Thunder. The... Oh my god, we had two of the weapons. We just needed that little hammer and we would have got the God of Thunder. Prince's Dignity, Enverox's uh, rapier and his thing. A World of Coldness. I've only seen this item like one time. Heliotrope. All three blood items, okay. Coin Addict. Midas, pocket watch, and the coin minigun. Man Manipoli dolls. All three dolls. Deshred. The three... Deshred looks insanely evil, but Deshred sounds so cool. Ring of Madness, Charm of Madness, and the Necklace of Madness. You need all the magics and all the madness for Deshred. And then you're going to have zero HP, but you're probably going to hit for like 8,000. Steel and leather. Way we could have pretty much almost had that. Loving Father. <laughs> Loving father, a shotgun and gun barrel boots. That's a bit weird. Antibacterial, silver ring and silver earrings. That's boring. The great pirates, AK-77 and an eye patch. Ahirim, all three fire things. Demon hand, demon boots, and salamanders. I've had these two before, but I've never had the salamander eye. Stereotype, uh, long sword and and heater shield. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Lord of Rings, Silver Ring, Ring of Midas, Ring of Speed, and Ring of Madness. Assassin! Assassin Dagger, Cloth Armor, and Hawk Earrings. Poison Researcher, Shotgun, uh, Danger Shotgun, and the Poisonous Mini more. Tiger Quando Master. Sandbag and the Tiger Quando. Uh, that might be why I was so strong. I might have had this without me. So Knight is the Zwei Hunter, the Iron Armor, and the Steel Boots. Tree of the Sage, the Sword of Vines and the Specimen of Sage, and then Dwarf, the Executioner and Dwarven Armor. Do we turn into like these, or do we just get these like symbols somewhere? We got the Riot Police, this is the only one we've ever got. But I, what is this Vault though, game? Where do I see Vault? Who do I speak to you? Yo, yo, do you know something about a Vault? No. Do you know something about a Vault? No. What is this vault? Because this vault is awesome. If we can get a vault proc every single time, we can keep the best item. I just think okay. We can keep the best item every single freaking run. We're gonna win. Or oh, do we get a like do we get a special ability from something that gave us the vault? I don't know. I don't know. Shotgun! We can become dad soon. We just need the shotgun uh thing. Eye patch and flex tactical baton. Man, these sets are so cool. Now that's the new addition to Dungeon, that makes me very happy. This vaulting is also pretty cool because that's gonna make like future potential ones really, really good. Um, I know this thing gave me a ton of evasion, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna sacrifice the evasion I got from uh, this for the next run, and I'm gonna go with power because what we were lacking was a way to kill people. Deals maximum damage when HP is below 50. That's pretty much always, isn't it? But I want the satiety. Okay, and then we want smooth and speed, and I'm gonna go for the patience. Have a little patience. That's a very round, that's an all rounder type of build, and I'm gonna have a great time in the next one with it. For now, though, that's gonna be in this downgrade episode. Lots of new content added, so I'm kind of like, the game was coming to an end, but now I'm like, mm. I don't want to see if we set there is, guys. But we will see how it goes for now. Let's get this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time with more awesome Dungrid.